Hello YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a very interesting feature uh, a friend of mine just pointed out to me the other day uh, that I thought I would share with the world uh, since I can see this uh, feature uh, expediting the code reviewing process, especially if you're dealing with a lot of um, pull requests, you're pushing a lot of pull requests, you're reviewing a lot of pull requests, uh, and there are these slight changes that you know are still necessary, but they you know they take a little bit of, of time to go back and you know start your IDE and change the code and make a commit and then make a push and make sure you're merging with master and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is this. Uh, new feature in um, both GitHub and Azure DevOps, which is built on top of GitHub, uh, that allows you to make a suggestion, uh, to make a code suggestion, and then the person who opened up the PR uh, is at will to just apply that change immediately or to reject it. So let's say, for instance, you have a, a name change. You're trying to change a name for a particular variable. You think the variable name doesn't really follow the standard, whatever coding standard you're following, or you think something in, in the code itself doesn't really make any sense, and you know it needs to be fundamentally changed, um, uh, but it doesn't really take that much. You need just an alias for an input parameter or something like that. What you really can do is that you can make a suggestion. I'm going to show you right now how you can make that suggestion uh, really, really fast. So if you uh, let, let's share our screen in here. Okay, let's have, you know, go for that. And then here is a here. Let's start with Azure DevOps. Let's say this is an open PR. And then this open PR, I basically want to go and say, you know, um, there is something I want to change, right? It's very hard to pick up a a um, a, a change on my friend's shimmy's uh, PRs, but let's just pick up something that's uh, that's just simple or something like that. So maybe, for instance, in here, I want to change the name from now to basically something like suggestion date time now, right? So what basically happens if you say comment, what it's going to do is going to to tell my friend that you know there is this change that you could do. And if you do that change, you could just apply that change. You don't have to open your IDE. You don't have to do anything. You could just apply this change, and immediately, you know, the change will be applied. Obviously, some of these things are very dangerous because uh, a variable like this might be used here and here and here and here. It's not going to change all of that for you. It's only going to change the things that you know you're particularly saying to change. And it also doesn't make sense to go change here and here and here. So um, a smaller comment, a smaller comment here or there, would actually. Uh, help expedite the code reviewing process, help you get all things resolved, and help the code uh, go through faster. Uh, the same thing I did in here. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to try it again. So in here, I did the exact same thing. In GitHub, I just went to one open source uh, project, the ASP.NET Core uh, project, and I saw this line in here. And let's say this line should completely disappear, you know, because this line is not being used. You could actually say suggestion like this. And if you do that, if you review your suggestion, that if you leave the, the suggestion area uh, empty like this, you're basically saying, I want to erase this entire line because it's not being used. So if I just say add a single comment like this, you can see, you know, oh, there's this var x reader endpoints, but the, but the test ends, and there is absolutely no use for x around this code base. So um, if you want to learn more about this feature, you can basically go to, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a, 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 um, a link for you, the link about the uh, announcement, the new pull request experience with Azure Dev, uh, Azure DevOps or Azure Repos. Um, you can see in here all the details about that in addition to the ability to do that also on uh, GitHub. So that's pretty much it. Um, a, a very short, simple things that could actually make your life a lot easier uh, in your development process. If you have any uh, comments, questions, if you have already used this feature before and you ran into issues, uh, please drop a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear your feedback. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.